Are you ready to take a trip down memory lane to the 90s? A golden age for zombie movies from the unconventional period for zombie films to the remarkable contributions of renowned directors. The decade preceding the millennium experienced a dip in the genre, possibly due to viewers feeling tired from previous years. Nevertheless, amidst this low, certain films managed to shine and remain relevant today. As we delve into the top 90 zombie movies, let's take a moment to appreciate the underrated oddity, Ed and his dead mother. This dark comedy, featuring Steve Buscemi, offers an amusing cult curiosity that falls short compared to the pinnacles reached by the most outstanding zombie comedies from the 1990s. At times, it seems like a budget imitation of Dead Alive. Nevertheless, if you're on the hunt for an underappreciated Steve Buscemi movie to savor, and this one is for you. DRA, Dead Alive, all members of that. Moving on, we have Bio Zombie, a Hong Kong-based zombie comedy paying tribute to George A. Romero's iconic zombie films. This engaging contribution to the genre skillfully combines humor friends with horror, proving to be a delightful addition to the 90s zombie movie collection. Now, let's talk about Idle Hands, an offbeat comedy that offers a hilariously overlooked teen zombie flick worth another look. Starring Devin Sawa, this lively snapshot of a filmmaking era could be a relic of the past, given its uniqueness in today's cinematic landscape. As we continue our journey through the 90s zombie movies, we come across Nightbreed, a narrative that follows a mentally unstable individual who discovers an abandoned cemetery where he meets a tribe of monstrous beings transformed into zombies called the Nightbreed. This bold monster film with somber underpinnings is a must-see for fans of body horror. And next up, we have Scooby-Doo on Zombie Island, an exceptionally captivating film that skillfully combined humor and horror for young audiences. The appearance of real pirate zombie monsters made this adventure feel like the most critical challenge Shaggy and Scooby had ever faced. Cemetery Man, an Italian creation, draws inspiration from the spooky vibe of Sam Raimi's Evil Dead and the chilling atmosphere of Reanimator. This often overlooked zombie flick is sure to delight fans of B-movie horror charm. And moving on to Return of the Living Dead 3, this 90s horror sequel added a fresh twist to an already established series revolving around a Romeo and uh, Juliet-like romance and that's DC is uh, to probably in a demonstrate of that alternative. As we approach the top two, we encounter Bride of Renimator, a standout in the horror genre that offers a thoughtful exploration of Lovecraftian themes, boasting exceptional stop motion C and puppetry techniques. And finally, we arrive at the cream of the crop, Dead Alive, a unique blend of extreme horror and comedic elements but offered a hilarious yet terrifying portrayal of a zombie apocalypse. Reflecting upon the remarkable feat of Dead Alive, one can't help but ponder what more lower budget zombie horror films Peter Jackson might have produced, considering his blockbusters, Niddler's projects. And it's, it's not, it's, it's being motivated uh, without the, uh, even in making a safe life, after all, the journey saw and failed to two words that had happened. The Von Kays can live a short zombie joke for you. Why don't zombies eat comedians? They can't stomach the jokes. Uh, with that said, thanks for watching, and until next time.